That, that, no, I think that's best. Yeah. Oh, then that means I can cut this. Okay, there we go. Oh, look, it's an early Christmas it's present. How about that? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Oh, it's foam. It's foamy. Okay, we won't use this anymore. Thank you. From the dealer. Pop this out. Take this one. This is a safe use of scissors. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Look how lovingly that's been wrapped. Isn't that beautiful? It's a blue paper, how 18th century. And the item is from the 18th century, so. It's another box. It's another box. This time we'll take it off. Okay, watch it. I'm videoing it. What could it be? What could it be? Okay. I'm gonna guess portable lightning rod. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. And this next, only because I don't know. I'm already curious because it's so flush, but it's clearly got these little carrying handles. Yeah. It's got a lock and key. Well, can open it and see. Um, Like yeah, it just kind of shifted a little bit. What this is, is it's, a really, it's the first copy machine. I think it's for the special ink or something. I can't remember what that's for. This is the platen. And here's... I think this holds
Another glass bottle? Yeah, another glass bottle. Oh no, this one's ceramic. This is a ceramic bottle. This I think is for the ink. And mm. you have little holes for your pens. Mm. And here, I think it should be instructions. Wow. This is so intricately crafted. Isn't it so that I know so much? <laughs> Okay, so it's on the desk. These fragments found in box. Okay, and a little divider. A little paper fragments. Yeah, a little fragments found in box. And then this tool that came with the device. of something. I have not had a chance to not to investigate this yet, but I think and, Oh, this maybe it's the patent pigment powder. Here's the Oh, I see. Other pigment powder. I'm going to take that out right now. Tool that came with device. Now, where is the um, Oh, maybe it's in here. Oops. <laughs> This should also be an instruction manual. From the period? Yes. I think maybe this is what this is. These are all instructional manuals. So, and and I think there's a couple of copied letters in here because this had a this has a family. So here's the copying powder. And James Watt was a his claim to fame was he actually um, not only invented this but he also invented a uh, more efficient steam boiler. Oh. He also had his businesses on uh, Fleet Street here, this cellar. Oh, yeah. And that's where Sweeney Todd had his oh, barbershop. Oh, really? So, Look yeah. At, that's cool. This might be just a little... Uh, this, this, these might be press sheets. Oh, okay. And ready for use. They have no bills yet. And here's the drawing book. Again, see, it's the same type of thing, except there's no cover. So clearly somebody had dried something and oh, oh, oh I see. Look at that. It's an old kind of blotted letter. Mm -hmm. That type of thing. So there. And you could of course tie it up if you needed to. And then additional materials. This video not sponsored by Hefty. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, exactly. I think he didn't. Hefty, hefty, hefty. It's supposed to wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. The only thing I hate about this thing is trying to get them out. Yeah. This bag is kind of a pain. Okay, so, what's this? This must be more copying paper. Mm -hmm. Paper, more paper, more paper. That's a copy of that. It's another copy. It's another copy book. I'm waiting for the. That one's not nearly as in good shape. Oof, that's falling apart. Um, more, more copy book. Where's the? Um, I think there was a um, instructional manual. What you do? You should put this on here. 
And then what you have to do is, we could do another video of it later, mm -hmm. but you, you would you'd send the papers to be copied on, on these and this on top with the with the um, letter and then you'd send it through this press, which it would press and, the... and it would press the special ink which would be slightly damp mm -hmm. you, you tore you turn this and it would the impression would take the would take the copy from the original letter on to the new piece of paper which you know and it's special ink so it transfers mm -hmm. and of course it transfers it backwards so what you do is you do it on that thin tissue paper and the thin so you can hold it up and you can actually see it right way sort of it, like the old mimeograph paper yeah like exactly it had to be to, yeah. yeah exactly so that's it okay so you'd write it on your original letter with the special ink yeah by mm -hmm. hand and you would print it onto yeah. a special type of paper that yes. was made, just essentially copy paper, three yeah, years ago. Yeah, it's an old, it's an early memo. I guess you could call it a mimeograph machine. Cause that's really what it is. So it's very transportable, but you yes. do have to have quite a, you know, it's not something you're doing on a, in a carriage or on a train. Yeah, but once no, you get set up, exactly. you can start copying your letters. Exactly, and it is kind of hefty. So I imagine the copy paper doesn't hold up well. No, it doesn't, and also, well, and you can see why there's all of these brass corners and things because it's heavy. And I could, you could just see somebody, you know, um, you know, dropping it on a surface or whacking it around because it's not a light item. So. Very know. cool. Isn't so we'll do another neat? video. Yeah, we'll do we'll another. We'll kind of demonstrate it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, welcome to the museum. Yes. <laughs>